Hello guys, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. This lecture we're going to see use case of hooks in Cypress. In Cypress, it's allow multiple types of hooks, uh, which is the built-in uh, part of Cypress Mocha framework. So we all know that Cypress is comes with a built-in framework, which is called Mocha, and the Mocha have you know different types of hooks that can you know help us to you know build our frameworks dynamically and uh, you know with the less code and hooks is very helpful it's uh, it comes with uh, like a before hooks after hooks before each hooks and after each hooks so in this tutorial we're going to see how to you know create or write those hooks and uh, and what would be the perspective or use case of that hooks let's see uh, from Cypress uh, their official website a little information regarding hook so if we go to uh, Cypress, uh, their official website, you can see they give you some information regarding the hooks. It said Cypress also provide hooks, you know, which is a part of Mocha framework. So they are helpful to set condition that you want to run before a set of test. It's very important before a set of test or before each test. So it has a two hooks that can run. We can, you know, before each test or before you know once before uh, all the test and there are also you know another hook it's it can run you know before e it can run after all the test or it can runs after each of the test so here you can see uh, you know the before each here it's and it should be we have to write all the hooks in root level it means it have to be part of the describe block so here is example here is you can say the before so you can say it's saying if you say before hook which is a before function so it will runs once just to remember that it will before function or before hook will run once before all the test in the block in the I mean it block and before each runs runs before each test in the block so it will run multiple times it depends on how many tests you have how many it block you have so it will run before each will run every time it runs the it block or you know your test class test bl uh, test block and after each again it's the same it will runs after each test in the block so it will run multiple times so example you have a five test cases or five it block so after each will run five times after the you know a complete of each uh, test cases or it block and after block it will runs again same like before but it will runs uh, again it's a uh, once after all the test cases has been uh, you know uh, executed so there is a so this is four types of you know hooks cypress allow and it's a part of mocha so let's see uh, some use case so if you see our previous lecture you know it's regarding about the inheritance so please watch that so that because I'm going to use the same uh, inspect file or the same test you know the the test cases so that you know I can just apply some of the be uh, before and and after hook in the same example so just to give you the uh, you know uh, uh, a very quick description so here I use a base case uh, base class where you know I have a static load function load page function where I have a you know load uh, the URL and then I have a static weight function so it's like a global function so that I can you know call those function to any test cases and pass some weight if I need and also you know I have a child uh, class which is home page and I make a relationship uh, between class you know uh, child and parents with the extend keyword so so that the child class have a direct access any one of the properties from the parent class so I have the, uh, the child class I do have a you know its own function to scroll to bottom so it will scroll down you know and down up to contact us so it's the same application we're going to use the code in box automation lab so so uh, you know the taxes our test cases one is it will scroll down the page will scroll down up to this contact arts this page you know this button and and again it will scroll up up to this welcome to code box automation lab this title okay this is the two test cases or two scenario so you know to you so contact us so you all you need to uh, the way we live in two element this one and this one right 
So here is first is uh, to scroll to bottom. I create a static function in a child uh, class, and this is the uh, you know element of the uh, scroll down contact us page. And this is I use a Cypress command or Cypress uh, function is called scroll into view, and then you know the the another uh, function scroll into up scroll to up. You know this is the uh, element or locator for uh, the you know uh, the title and then scroll into view again the same function I use so now this here is the actual describe block right which is your test suit and here it's my you know my test cases which is uh, the first uh, it block so I call here I call you know load function from there so use your your child class dot your any one of the function uh, you know from your uh, parent class or child class you can directly call like this so load page will call over here would load the you know this URL and then scroll into bottom will will call this function will go to the bottom and then wait function call from here it will uh, you know put some uh, three seconds wait and then scroll uh, scroll to up will call this function it will go to up you know and then wait another three seconds so this was the overall you know the the test cases so if you is if it's if you are still not clear please watch our inheritance uh, uh, in a tutorial so now I'm going to apply you know before function and uh, before hook and after hook in the same uh, example so here what I'm going to do so the first your before your hook would be part of your describe block so you're gonna so I'm going to write over here and I will make a comments this line because you know I'm going to load the page uh, you know as a part of our before hook so here I'm going to write the bef uh, you know hook so I'll say before so before function before hook is that's the way you are going to write it's 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 a function function and then right and then opening closing bracket and then here is a before hook body right so here what would be the you know the uh, your co your comment I'm, I'm putting some comment oh, what the use case of before function you know mainly it runs we all know runs uh, before all before all it runs once I would say runs once before all the uh, test in uh, test cases execute right executed test cases executed in describe block okay that's the uh, one of the condition and then you know what is the uh, purpose like what type of data usually we use or put you know before uh, block so set up test data like set up uh, test data so test data you know so because you know uh, you need your test data ready uh, before you do any uh, testing if you need any test data external test data so you can put your test data information in your before hook so that's one of the use case and another use case would be like uh, seed or reset reset seed or reset I would say the database right um, so if you need to uh, do any test cases which is related with your database so you need to seed or reset your database before you start your uh, testing right so so that you have a you know brand new connection with your database as well as you know the information data from your uh, database so this kind of information can go to you know before hook uh, it's really up to you but this is one of the common use cases for before so in this case what I'm gonna put I'm going to in our example I'm going to put uh, this you know this the before hook I'm going to load the I have to you know first uh, I have to load the page so I'm going to put home page a load pay you know the load page function I'm calling over here under my before hook so the since before hook will get executed first right so it will load the page so it will do the same job it's it was doing over here so let's remove this part right so that's my before hook and then let's put after curate after after hook right after the same way uh, function and then 
create the hook and put the body uh, it runs uh, the pretty much same thing but let me update you this is the comment so runs once after so it will run once after all the test cases got executed right and then uh, it can be clean up so it can the you know it you can clean up uh, your test you know clean up any test data or like cookies anything so test cleanup this is the use case test cleanup or clean you know clean some cookies clean I would say cookies you know or local storage right so that's the use case of after hook and it will run once you know after all the test cases got to execute so that you know the next time the next before you know next time you run your execution your test cases your you know browser will be you know clean all the cookies your test uh, data will be all cleaned up so you know so that's uh, that's uh, the use case of after hook so maybe you can put over here uh, side dot uh, delete okay so here is we can use like you know clear cookies function or also you can use uh, side dot like uh, clear storage scroll you know clear uh, clear local storage right so you can call this function so that's the use case of after after from you know after hook so that's the use case of uh, after hook so similarly you know we can write uh, before each hook after hook after e each hook so let's just you know give me a so always remember all the hook should be in the root level it means in inside the describe block right it should be right after the describe block and then here we'll say before say uh, each before each hook right and then here it's a uh, use case is run so it's runs not once so it runs multiple times it depends on how many test cases you have it will run before each and every test cases uh, uh, you know you have you, you have execute so before it runs runs before uh, runs before each it block right runs before each it block or test cases block or test cases in the describe in the describe in the describe okay so that's the you know uh, the condition and here no let's remove it and uh, similarly so you know if you have any condition or anything you need to run before each and every test cases that time you can create a before each hook and you know you know uh, put your condition or your code right similarly uh, the after uh, after each hook would be here the same way you know we'll say after each after each right and it runs after runs after same just in a reverse of before each so after each it runs after each it block in the describe okay so that's a simple condition you know uh, the condition that all you have to remember and then so after it runs all of your before first so how are you gonna execute it? if I execute this test cases the first it will execute the before uh, before function right so it will load the page and then it will since I don't have we don't have anything before each so it will not run uh, and then it will go to the it block it will scroll down then wait three seconds then it scroll up then wait another three seconds and then it will execute after function so after function it will clear the cookies and also clear local storage right if you have after each function it will used to it will run the same way runs after each it block in the describe right so that's the condition so let's save it and then run it okay so npm run sci open
okay it's loading the test runner and find the spec file uh, the same spec file inheritance spec right the same one so let's run it okay it's uh, you can see that it's it's loading the before you know before uh, function you can see right so before all so the before function it's loading you know executing first so which means it will load the you know uh, uh, the page and then it goes to the test body so which is goes down and then it comes up okay so this is you see and then at the end it's run the after all so after hook it runs at the end and before before function before hook it runs at the beginning which is load the uh, pages and then it's the body it it block and then it's the after hook so you see so it's a very simple concept but very effective it's really really help you to reduce your your you know rewrite uh, reusable code again and again and it makes it neat and clean your code so it's very helpful for you know de uh, design and develop dynamic framework so that's all for today thanks a lot stay tuned lots of more new features is coming thanks a lot bye bye